So today we will continue to lecture five, okay, and of the data communications and next network ones. Chapter uh, lecture five is about chapter three, transmission media, and uh, part one is guided media. Okay, let's look at the. Um, Okay. There are two main types of the transmission media, okay? the guided media and the unguided media. The guided media are twisted pair, coaxial cable, optical fiber. Okay? In the guided media, we concern with the type of the medium. So different kind of medium will give you different characteristics and different properties okay? in, our, in um, the transmitting of the signal. The second category is the unguided media. The unguided media is usually air. Okay? You send through air, but you use the technique of the terrestrial microwave, which is the microwave on the, on the surface of the Earth, or the satellite microwave or radio. In this case, since the medium is always air, we concern with the bandwidth produced by the antenna. In most of the media, and, and for this lecture, we will focus on the guided media first. In both media, the key parameters are the data rate, okay? Or the bandwidth, um, in physical sense, is the bandwidth, because higher bandwidth lead to higher data rate, okay? And it's also uh, depend on the distance. So it depends on the data rate and the distance. Now let's look at this, um, this chart, okay? of the frequency in Hertz and the application okay, that we can use for the different range of the frequency. Okay, we can see that they have, um, at first, at the leftmost um, column is the extremely low frequency or ELF. Okay, extremely low frequency here or ELF. This one. It is um, about 100 hertz to, one, um, to about 10,000 hertz. Okay? This one we use uh, for power, okay? to sending power and the telephone. And we use for musical instruments. Um, the musical instruments are, are also in this range, about, um, up to about 20, um, um, like about 10, 20 um, kilohertz. Okay? And that's the voice microphone, okay? which will go to about just um, five, about five kilohertz. And then um, we have the VF is the voice channel, okay? And then VLF is the very low frequency. After that, um, in, the blue, in the blue column, we have the LF, MF, HF, and VHF, okay? Which is low frequency, medium frequency, high frequency, and very high frequency. So from 10 to the fourth to 10 to the nine. Um, the UHF is also uh, included in this range, okay? Um, ultra high frequency, okay, UHF. In this range, we use for applications as um, radio, televisions, um, it's a radio frequency, and we use for uh, applications for um, televisions and radio, okay? So this is different. Uh, the first one is radio frequency, okay? We call this one radio frequency. Um, it's, it's used for integrated circuit, okay, cellular te uh, telephone. Uh, you can see that in this range, um, from the low frequency to about 10 to the 8 hertz, okay, we can use, we can send with a twisted pair. But the coaxial cable is, we transmit the signal that have the frequency from about 10 to the um, 10 cube or 1000 hertz, okay, to 10 to the 9 or um, 1 gigahertz. So the coaxial cable sent to um, higher frequency than the twisted pair. And you can see that um, the AM radio is um, at the lower range of the frequency than the FM radio and TV. Okay? From the UHF to EHF, okay? 10 to the 9 to 10 to the, about 10 to the 11. This is called microwave range, okay? And we use this for radar or microwave antenna. Okay? Um, after that, after Okay, HF is super high frequency and EHF is extremely high frequency. Um, after, the, after that is infrared, okay? Um, this is like more than extremely high frequency and lower than the visible light 
is in the approximately the range of the um, infrared. We use this for laser for missiles, okay? Um, and after about you know 10 to the 14, 10 to the 15, this is the range of the visible light frequency. So if you want to send uh, the signal, okay, with light through the optical fiber, then you will use the frequency in this range. You can see that um, for the blue column of the about 10 to the 9 to 10 to the 11 hertz, um, we use this one for the terrestrial and satellite transmission too. So terrestrial microwave and satellite transmission. And this is the, um, this is the abbreviation, okay? And the meaning of each of the abbreviation. Now let's consider um, the guided media, okay? Um, okay, let's look at this table. We have the twisted pair, okay? Um, coaxial cable, optical fiber, okay? They have different characteristics. Um, they use with different range of frequency, like twisted pair is zero, uh, with loading is zero to 3.5 kilohertz, but with multiple multi pair cable, okay, it can be go to the one megahertz, okay? Coaxial cable to go to 500 megahertz. Optical fiber, can go to the one, uh, 185 to 370 terahertz, okay? One terahertz is 10 to the 12 hertz. So this is much higher frequency range so because you have to send the light. Um, then you have at, um, attenuation, okay? You can see that the optical fiber has a low attenuation, low, lowest attenuation um, than the other guided media. Coaxial cable is the highest, however, the twisted pair is uh, operate at lower frequency, much lower frequency than the coaxial cable. So it's different range of frequency that we are using. Okay, and we have a delay. Um, we have the repeater spacing. You can, you can notice that the repeat, repeater spacing, okay? This is highest at the 40 kilohertz. Um, this one is for optical fiber, okay? Optical fiber, you don't have to repeat a lot, okay? Because it can keep the strength of the frequency. Uh, of strength of the signal, okay, uh, and quality of, uh, of the signal for a long distance. But for the twisted pair and for coaxial cable, you have to repeat uh, much more frequent, okay, about two kilohertz, uh, two kilometers or one to nine kilometers for coaxial cable. Now let's look at the twisted pair, okay. The twisted pair have the outer insulator, okay, and the copper inside. I have an example of the twisted pair here. Okay, so you see that you have uh, many, many pair, okay, and they have uh, inside is a copper, okay, and many many pair they are combined into uh, one cable. Okay, now there are four pairs of the um, twisted pairs here inside of this cable. Okay, so this one is inside is copper. So this is what twisted pair look like. Okay, now this one is the least expensive. Okay, most widely used um, guided media. Okay, because it's sometimes we call it wire. Okay, W I R E wire media. Okay, um, this one is can be used for both analog and digital signal. Okay, and um, we use it in the telephone line at home, okay, for a long time already. Um, the best thing about this is that it's cheap, okay. Um, now for analog signal amplifier, for twisted pair has to be, um, have to be used, okay, for every about five to six kilometers, you have to put an amplifier to boost the signal up, to boost the power of the signal up. Um, for the digital signal, you have to use a repeater for about eight, two to three kilometers. So we use this for telephone system, we use this for LAN, okay, Ethernet, token, token ring, okay. Uh, so you have the standard for LAN that used twisted pair too. Um, we twist, okay, they have two pair, two, two, um, they have two lines and you twist them together, okay. You twist them to reduce the crosstalk. Crosstalk is one of the noise um, that happen, okay, uh, when you send the signal, okay, they have the, this is like electric, electrical coupling between the two lines. So if you twist them, you will cancel the effect, okay? It is uh, susceptible to interference and noise. 
Okay, so um, so if you have noise outside, okay, or the crosstalk, it can go into your line, the copper, okay, and it will affect, it will increase, uh, you have a, a high noise um, level for the twisted pair, and it has highest attenuation for a guided media, so it has a, when you send it, you have to, to repeat, okay, most often, than, more often than the other media, because the attenuation, the power will, will be reduced uh, quick, very quick, okay, for a distance. So you can send to a limited distance, and it can also um, it's allow only uh, the signal with only limited bandwidth to plus two, okay, only one megahertz. And right now we use for a much, much higher frequency. Um, it have limited data, data rate because when it limit the bandwidth, the data rate is also limited, okay? And again, it has cross uh by the coupling, with elliptical coupling between nearby twisted pair. And it has, um, sometimes, okay, when you call uh, your friend, okay, in the past I used to, when, when, when I talk to my friend, okay? And then there are voice from other telephone conversation, other pair of telephone conversation, conversation get into my line, okay? You may have, experience that, okay? So, so you are talking A to B, okay? But then C and D are also talking and, and their voice get into your line, okay? So that is one of the problem. The second one is coaxial cable. Coaxial cable is, um, I'm sorry, this is not, sorry. This is a mis misprint, okay? It's coaxial cable, not twisted pair. Um, it's plastic cover, they have plastic cover and they have the insulator, okay? Two layer of insulator. They have the outer conductor or the shield and the inner conductor, okay, inside. And this is, um, so this is twisted pair. Uh, sorry, this is coaxial cable, not twisted pair. So this is what um, the actual, okay, twisted pair look, uh, sorry. The actual coaxial cable look like, okay? So it have something like this. You can check um, your, your cable, okay? If it's not HDMI or, I mean, if it's the, the, old, the old type, okay? It's coaxial cable. So you have insulators, okay? Separate the two conductors in a coaxial cable. This is uh, better than the twisted pair, okay? Because it's less susceptible to interference and crosstalk. Because it have two layers, okay? And it have insulators. So, the signal from outside to get into the in, inner conductor, okay, is more difficult than the twisted pair that have only one layer of coating. Um, one layer of the, of the insulator, okay? Um, it's, so it has higher data rate, okay, and higher frequency than the twisted pair. For the analog signal amplifier, okay, needs I need it every few kilometers, okay? Or if you use at a higher frequency, you need it for, um, you need to place the more amplifiers, okay, at a closer distance. You can use for up to 500 megahertz, so the bandwidth is, is more than the, um, than the twisted pair, okay? For digital signals, okay, repeater are placed every one kilometer or closer, okay, with a higher data rate. Um, Okay, but it can use with a higher data rate than the twisted pair. It's used with cable TV, long distance telephone link, or LAN, okay? Um, and, okay, with FDM, or frequency division multiplexing, it can carry more than 10,000 voice channels simultaneously. The third one that we're gonna talk about, the third kind of guided media we're gonna talk about is optical fiber, okay? The optical fiber has, um, glass, okay, um, two kinds of glass inside, okay, one is the, with different index, okay, the, the inner, innermost is the core, okay, it's, it's made with one, one uh, glass index, okay, one glass with a different index than the cladding, the cladding is also another, another glass, made of glass, okay, and you have a jacket outside, okay, and this is, some of the optical fiber, okay? So they have the uh, many, many line here, okay? And it's coated with color, okay? So different line with different color. Inside, you can see that it's very, 
very small, okay? This is already with the, with the jacket, okay? Inside is the, is the um, fiber of, it, it is the glass, the, the core and the cladding. This one is even smaller, if you can see. Okay, this one is even smaller than, uh, has a very small diameter, similar to your, um, the diameter of your hair, okay? Can you see? So this one is even um, smaller than this one. This one may have a um, bigger jacket, okay? And if you buy, sometimes it's come like this. Okay, so with the, um, with the interface, okay, over here, with the connector over here. Okay, so it's also a small, very small um, diameter, okay, inside. Okay, so it's used um, total refraction, okay, to transmit light. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of a waveguide, okay, if you have studied like antenna or electromagnetics, this is like a waveguide um, for the frequency of 10 to the 14 to 10 to the 15 hertz. This is the frequency of the visible light, okay. Now let's look at the advantage, okay, over the op optical fiber, uh, sorry, optical fiber advantage over the coaxial cable and the uh, twisted pair, okay? It have a much, 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 much higher capacity, okay? And much, 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 again, okay? Higher bandwidth, okay? Um, it have a um, higher data rate, okay? Hundreds of kilobit per sec. This is like, you cannot like imagine before you have fiber optics, okay? It's, fiber optic is a, was a breakthrough, okay? Of the guided media. Before you have this, the bandwidth it was very critical to send the data, okay, to send the signal bandwidth was very critical, but when you have fiber optic, okay, you have a almost unlimited bandwidth to send uh, your signal, okay. And you can use the, um, if you use the dense uh, wavelength division multiplexing, okay, a fiber optic can transmit at several terabit per second, and one terabit is 10 to the 12 bits, okay, or 10,000 gigabit. Or one, sorry, 1,000 gigabit, okay? And there's an experiment, okay, that um, 35, 34 terabits per second can be sent over a single fiber um, in, this Wikipedia, um, in this website here, okay? Um, and in, in this, if for this rate, okay, 43 terabytes per second, you can um, have a DVD, okay, of one gigabit, or one gigabyte, sorry. Um, can be transmitted in only 0 0.2 millisecond, okay? So that would be great, right? Very fast. And the movie will be, you know, continuous and no, um, and there's no like stopping along the way, okay? Because you can send very fast. Um, it is much smaller size and, and lighter weight. You can see from here, this is the coaxial cable, this is the um, this is twi the twisted pair, okay, and this is the fiber optics. Okay, you can look at this. This is coaxial cable, twisted pair, fiber optics, okay, and the fiber optics is even has the, because that is a lot of them, this one, diameter is, okay, very, very light weight, very light weight, and um, smaller diameter. Okay, smaller size, and has significantly lower attenuation. Okay, so you can send for a long um, distance, okay, and um, need much fewer, okay, um, the re much fewer number of repeaters. So about like 40 kilometers, so you will need one repeater. I have, um, I, I, have I have got this, uh, fiber optics, okay, the, the, the yellow one from my students, and she said that she was working at the company to install the fiber optics, and she said that the signal was so good, okay, there's no problem at all um, to get the signal, okay, even for a long distance. 
And since it's sandwich light, okay, there's no su not susceptible to interference, okay, noise or crosstalk, okay, because other signal is usually at a much lower frequency. The other signal that uh, is man-made by um, people, okay, electronics, noise, something like that, okay, there's much as much lower this or uh, lower frequency, not at the light frequency, okay. So so it's very immune to the noise, okay, and have electromagnetic isolation. Similar to what I just said, because have glass and you send inside of the glass, okay? And with different um, range of the frequency. Um, this advantage is the, that is cost, okay? It's very expensive compared to twisted pair and um, coaxial cable if you use for a long distance, for a short distance, okay? Very expensive because you need installation and maintenance, okay? You need to have knowledge and people with knowledge to install it, okay? You need to be able to use uh, a more sophisticated tools, okay? To uh, spice it, okay? To spice like, uh, to cut and combine, um, combine the two um, fiber optics together, okay? However, if you use for a very long distance and use for a lot of bandwidth, okay? Combine data from many, many, many users together and send and using one line, it will be cheaper than using the many, many lines of the coaxial or many, many lines of the twisted pair for the same bandwidth. Applications of the fiber optics is to use uh, the, for main trunks, okay, such as long distance trunks, metropolitan trunks like in Bangkok, um, or even in Gaze State University, okay. In Faculty of Engineering, we use um, the backbone and fiber optics. Used for, okay, also for the local area network, okay? Now, how can we use light to transmit the data? Okay, we have to remember what we have learned in um, high school about the nature of the light. Okay, so you have, um, if you have um, two materials, okay? The, the white one is the less dense materials and the dotted one are uh, the denser, is the denser material, okay? For, for case, uh, for the first case, when theta, theta is between, um, like this. There's no theta there, okay. So, This is theta, okay? So if you send the light at the angle that is uh, less than critical angle, you will get something like this, okay? It will bend. For the second case, if you send at Theta equal to critical angle. Okay, it will go along this uh, interface. Okay, if you send the light, okay, into the material, okay, with the theta more than critical angle. It will reflect back total reflection. Okay, so this one have total reflection. Okay. Okay, so the theta you can put it there by yourself. Okay, um, we use the total reflection case in order to explain, okay, um, how the light can go in through the, um, the core of the optical fiber. And this is what really happened, okay, when you send in the, in the fiber optics, okay, you have to send um, with the angle more than critical angle. Um, there are three types of the optical fiber, okay, um, simple uh, categories, okay, the first one is 
multi-mode step index fiber optics. This is the oldest uh, fiber optics, okay, in, in the three case. Okay, so if you send, um, you use a total reflection, okay, so you can see that the light will um, reflect back from the, the interface, okay, between the two glass of different density. So it's re reflect, okay, and you see that the, the light that go through this, um, the many parts that uh, go through the core will arrive at different time, okay, because the, the, uh, the distance are different. The one that goes straight through the core will arrive first, and the one that reflect um, will arrive later. So you can see that. Since that this one, and then there's this one, and then there's this one. Okay, what happened is that you receive, okay, the first one, and then you also receive the second one, the third one, you may also have others too. So what, what happened is that you will get something like this. Okay, you will have the combine of, of this, um, the, the sum of this uh, signal that arrive at different time. So they try to make it better, okay, by, um, and, and we call that dispersion, okay, that the pulse, that you send the square pulse, but it's arrived as the, the one that is like a curve, okay, and this is called dispersion. Uh, the second case is the multi-mode gradient index, okay. In this case, they tried the, the um, for, for the density, okay, to not be as sharp as the first one, so that the reflection will be less, um, you know, it will be smoother, okay, and this it will be have less dispersion, again, but this is still have many parts, okay, so they will still combine, and they have still have dispersion. Um, the last one is the um, single mode fiber, this one is the newest technology, it will make the core very, very small, okay, such that only the light that goes straight will go through, okay, That's, there cannot be light that reflect inside to go through, okay. In this case, you see that at the destination, there's no dispersion, uh, but, but okay, the shape may have to change a little bit because it's smoother, okay, because it have to go through the, um, go through the band, go, go through the, the fiber optics, okay, which the bandwidth is not infinity, okay. So the, so the square pulse, okay, we have a, a smoother shape, However, there's no dispersion. In this case, you can see that you can send with a faster, okay, a faster um, data rate, okay, than the, than the other case. So if you look at this, if you have, if you have something like this, okay, what happens is that if you don't want to have a problem, you have to send this and wait, okay, and then send this one. So your, your, your data has to come you know, I E C E I V E and received. Okay, sent and received like this. But if you if you get something like this. Okay, there is no um, overlap, okay? Then you can send, you can send like that, okay? You, you don't have to, you don't have to, um, to spread it out. So your, your data that you send, you can send very close together, okay? So this is sent, this is received. Okay, so this one is faster, slower. And this is the single mode fiber. This is multi mode. Okay, so we will want to use the single mode fiber to get a, a higher data rate. Okay. okay, as you have seen in the in the picture, the 
step index, okay, is designed to have a rough change of the density of glass, okay, at the in interface of between the core and the cladding. So you have multiple parts of the light beams, okay, different time delay at the destination and dispersion of the output pulse. Light beam that travel uh, through the parallel through the core will arrive faster than the beam that strike back and forth with the cladding. Okay. The second one is graded index multi mode. It's better than step index, okay? Because they have gradual change of the density of material at the interface. So we have less dispersion of the output pulse, but they have still some have some dispersion. And the single mode is the best one because it has a very, very thin core. Light source is highly focused because to send into the straight to the um, the core, okay? Only the light beam that tra tra parallel to the core can propagate. So no distortion of the signal, okay. Uh, sorry, no this, this portion, okay? It still have some distortion that um, the square shape is kind of smoother, okay? Round, rounder at the edge, okay? And it have a highest data rate. Light source for optical fiber, you have the light emitting diode. This is cheap, okay? Um, but, and it can use for, for a wide uh, operating temperature range and it lasts long, okay? However, it uses unfocused light, so it can be used for short distance application. But they have an ILD, the injection laser diode. This one can be focused, okay? So it's more efficient. Longer distance, greater data rate. This is the frequency utilization for the fiber applications. Um, you can see that you have the multi mode, okay? Fiber type here and the single mode. And you use for the LAN, okay? And um, um, the BODM is wavelength division multiplexing, okay? Which is um, you combine uh, many users, you, com you multiplex many uh, users together to sit in the same line. Um, you can see that since the frequency is very high in the terahertz, they just usually divide, um, they usually call, okay, different um, band, okay, by the wavelength in vacuum, okay. So you will have um, the, the single mode, okay, you will have something like about 1350 nanometer, okay, this is single mode, and about 15, uh, 50 nanometer, about in the between, okay and about 1,600 nanometer, okay, in this range. Um, we will see, okay, in, um, after this, okay, when we see the attenuation of why we use this um, wavelength, okay. Actually, it's because we have the low attenuation, okay, at those uh, selected wavelengths. Let's look at the simple model of optical op communications. You have elliptical digital signal coming in, and you have electronics interface, okay? You have the LED or laser light source, and then it's um, changed from elliptical to optical conversion, okay? Then you send a light wave pulse, okay, in optical fiber. At the receiver, you have a detector or the light sensor that detects the signal, and you change uh, from optical to elliptical conversion, okay? You change from optical to electrical uh, signal, okay? And you send out as electrical digital signal. Okay, this is the attenuation that I will show you. I just, I was just talking about. This one is for all three types of the guided media, okay? For the twisted pair, uh, you have, you see that attenuation is on the y-axis and the x-axis is the frequency in hertz. The frequency is low. Can you see that um, on the right most is just 10 to the 7 hertz, okay? And this one is 10 to the 6, okay? So 1 megahertz. Um, AWG is American wire gauge, okay? So this is the, the, this is the standard of American wire, okay? So this is the diameter, okay, and the size. You see that when the frequency is um, going up, okay, the attenuation, attenuation go up quickly. And if you have a lot of attenuation, okay, you can send very short distance. Now let's look at the optical fiber. Optical fiber has, um, this one is wavelength in nanometer. As I said, that frequency is so high, okay, that 
the frequency is very high, okay? So you cannot, um, you usually talk um, or call it in terms of wavelength. The y-axis is the attenuation, okay? You see that there is um, the low attenuation, okay? There is, there is a dip at about 1300 with uh, nanomate and about uh, 1500 to 1600 nanomate, okay? So this is a three band that we were using. Showing in the in the table, this is coaxial cable. Okay, for coaxial cable, it's go to about uh, the graph. Okay, from about ten to the five to ten to the eight um, hertz. Okay, or about hundred megahertz. Uh, this one again, attenuation go up very quickly. Okay, with the dB, the attenuation go up very quickly with the um, distance. Okay, so. If it's attenuation is too high, you can send for a very short distance. If you combine them together, you can see that the um, the left the left most line, okay, is twisted pair. Okay, so it's used at um, lowest uh, frequency. Okay, the the second line from the, the the middle line, okay, is the coaxial cable. So it's used at a higher frequency. At one megahertz, the coaxial cable is has a much lower attenuation than the twisted pair. Um, for the twist, uh, optical fiber is used at a much, much higher frequency, okay, about 10 to the 14 uh, hertz. So that is the end of the, that is the end of the, um, this lecture. And for next lecture, we will go to the um, guide, unguided media, okay, in lecture six. Okay, goodbye.